Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another day of virtual school. Uh, today, we're going to start on a new topic. Uh, we are going to continue moving right along, and today we are going to start talking about weather. So, to do this for our resource that we will be using, is called the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. And not to worry, it is a book that is fully online and it is put out by the Federal Aviation Administration. So, the, and as you may recall, the Federal Aviation Administration is the body that governs all aviation in the United States. So, this is going to be uh, good material. Um, I will be including a link today for you that should take you right to the book. Uh, we will be starting in chapter 12. So the essential question we should ask ourselves when it comes to studying weather is why does that weather happen? So what we will be doing in this book is eventually hopefully answering that question and we will be verifying it by asking ourselves well we know weather happens because we go outside every day but we need a scientific method to be able to examine it so for our for the purpose of the lesson the the question will be why does weather happen and how can we examine that weather? So as you know, for your entire lives, you have been experiencing different types of weather all the way from this extremely bright, hot Florida sun, all the way to being able to go up north and experience snow. We live in Florida, so we get a multitude of different types of bad weather, which it can include hail, thunderstorms, and at several at parts of the year we can get hurricanes. So uh, what I want you guys to take away from this is that the understanding of weather is fundamentally important to aviation. Uh, as a pilot, our, li our very lives actually depend on this. But once you have a fundamental understanding of how weather works and how to examine it, uh, the goal with this is I want you to be able to I want you to be able to understand that with a good understanding of weather, you can actually pursue different types of careers uh, regardless if they are in aviation or not. You know, all the way to in the morning when you turn on your television and you see a weatherman there telling people what the weather is going to be like for the next day or the next week, which we call forecasting. Um, to a lot of people nowadays, we are starting to look ahead to future generations. So uh, a word that is bounced around by the media a lot is called climate change. So with the right understanding of weather, if you so choose, you could pursue, you could potentially become a climate scientist and actually study what climate is. And climate is nothing but the long-term study of weather. Uh, I will, I actually have included a link to a video of another potential interesting organization called NOAA. And what NOAA is, is that is a government agency and what they do is they actually track hurricanes. Uh, they do this by using all sorts of sophisticated equipment, but one of the most interesting and unique ways is they actually fly into the hurricane. So I just want you to understand that with a fundamental understanding of weather, there are all sorts of unique things you can do with it. 
So for today's assignment, we are going to be uh, starting by reading in our Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge book. We are going to be reading the first, I believe it's first five pages today. And on Focus, I have uploaded a, an assignment. Uh, it is just going to be answering 10 questions. Uh, they will actually be in chronological order. And uh, in bold on the assignment, to make it easier, I have actually labeled the section that I have pulled the questions. So the purpose of this is not to actually rush through the assignment and just get the answers. I assigned very few pages because weather is one of the most difficult concepts for a new pilot to understand. So what I expect of you is for you to actually read the book. You do not have to be, you know, you do not have to be a weather forecaster in your first five pages, but I'm hoping that today is kind of like we're just touching base and we can gain a better understanding and uh, we can start to develop a wonderful foundation and then we can build upon it in the future. So I know this can be difficult, but uh, I do not want you to worry because I will be by you every step of the way. We have virtual meetings, we have emails, you can ask me questions. Um, if you need more help, I will be available from 12.30 all the way till 3.30. And I just want you guys to know that I am here for you. Uh, one thing I'm going to talk about is that phone calls are going to be going out soon from the school to all of you to keep you updated and fill you in what's going on and to check in and make sure that you are making it to virtual school okay. Um, everyone, I guess that's about everything I have to put out for right now. So I will look forward to seeing you online when you come to class. I will probably hold a virtual meeting towards the end of class to check in with you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I look forward to uh, being on this journey with you. All right, take care.